It took about seven decades for Albanians to get the right to freely cross the borders of their country. It was in 2003 Thessaloniki summit that EU showed interest to begin its formal enlargement process towards Western Balkans. Albania was among these states and after seven years long negotiations process, its citizens were finally free to travel. The Slovenian MEP Tanja Fajon lobbied passionately for Albania during this period. She became very popular among Albanians. As a result, a bar opened in her name. Gallup Europe does an every year survey. Among others, they ask also for the propensity of immigration. When they presented the study in Tirana, the next day I read in the newspapers one-third of Albanians, more than 30% of Albanians, wants to leave Albania. And I wrote an article showing which, which were the uh, correct results of the survey. And they were not at all that one-third of Albanians want to leave Albania. Uh, the theoretical uh, potential of uh, emigration of Albanians was 4.8%, which was quasi similar to other Balkan countries, but not at all 33%, as newspapers were saying. Albania has had a, a hard period these last two years. After uh, the elections of 2009, the opposition uh, didn't accept the result of the election, they decided to boycott the parliament. Uh, to use uh, demonstration and protest as a political mean. During this time, uh, personally, I was a little bit afraid because at the end of the day, although by uh, personalities of European Union, including Tanya Fayon, it was systematically said that uh, the visa liberalization is a technical process, it's not a political process. I was thinking, let's suppose that we are going to have a civil unrest. The uh, progress was assessed in an unbiased manner by the uh, structures of the uh, European Commission. And on the other side, uh, in general, Albania democracy has been able to uh, manage the difficult political climate without causing any negative impact on the visa liberalization uh, evaluation. During these uh, 10 months of having a visa liberalization regime, uh, the records from the all uh, Schengen countries in the Europe shows that Albanians are not at all abusing with the rules of the visa liberalization. Government has done a good job on uh, doing uh, public awareness about the rules of the visa liberalization and uh, saying that uh, political asylum will not work, don't use it as an instrument. We are on our way to shoot a documentary. Today was our first filming uh, day and uh, we started with Tirana. I really like the script. We get to go in the wild part of Tirana, which I like to call as Cuba. So far I am extremely happy and content about almost everything, except for the fact that I didn't get to eat today enough. Germany was very reserved regarding the visa-free regime. Wanting to clarify this position, we met the German ambassador, Carola Müller. She greeted us in a tropical garden just by the embassy. When European leaders first agreed in Schengen that visa requirement and passport requirements should be lifted within the center of Europe, uh, it was kind of an upheaval among 
politicians and civil servants focusing on interior matters. Uh, it was believed that between Germany, the Netherlands and France, this was uh, not conceivable. Most of your stuff, I guess, is perceived not happen sometime it started, in the past. It started, yeah. Yeah. Okay. When I came in August, a long process was already running and was almost over because uh, the preconditions and the work to fulfill the requirements is a lengthy process mm -hmm. and it is a lot of work and the, the Albanians proved that when they really want something like visa liberalization they are able to make an effort and to fill, fulfill all the preconditions in a timely manner. Albanians now can benefit from visa liberalization, which means they do not need visa uh, for a trip for touristic purposes. It's a great shot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so you. Stabilize the yeah. tire. <laughs> Technical systems. <laughs> Technical systems. <laughs> Thank you. I wouldn't say that um, my predecessor was, was skeptical. He was probably as realistic as, as many others. And Albanians proved that it is possible. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. So take care of your time. Палатите и юм отбоят ни ЕЦЕ, ни Нарацел, ни Кудел са чада. Сади търгой пак Олген Бронда. Ермелия е филм директор и актрис, която работа е възможност интернационално. Ще ни върши от Тирана с old филм сити. Ще пресва, че година ме колушва му завънцоват кур, каблера историка и културора. A place where she finds peace and inspiration. <laughs> what was your experience before visa liberalization and after? Was it anything change? I mean, you're an actress, maybe you have. Okay, for me, especially, the only difference is that. Before I used to make some application or just to show a reason. Now I don't have any reason. I just have my idea and I can go everywhere I want. I don't want to talk about how, how it used to be before because just to talk about the past is a little bit pathetic to me. But now actually everybody has this freedom. Like people that are not using this idea to escape. Did you travel a lot? When I have time, yes, of course. I'm trying to make my, long, my first long movie as director and so I will need to go abroad and after that when I will finish this, this project I will move for a while from Albania also for this professional reason. But of course coming back here the, the most important reason is that of course this is my country and then I would like to express myself as an artist here especially.